We have conspiracy thoughts murder. And the lady down the street, if you brung her, or the guy, whatever floats your boat. Don't forget your mom. I like her. She's good company. Well, today's episode is about pretty much this funeral home that got evicted and they left 115 bodies behind. So, let's dive into that. That sounds pretty interesting. So, this happened last year in October. Uh, the funeral home is called Return to Nature. Pretty much where 115 decomposing bodies were found last week in Colorado. Well, you know, October 9th. Not too new. So, as the financial troubles were piling up at the Colorado funeral home where authorities last time discovered at least 115 bodies that were decomposing. The troubles went unnoticed by the state officials who have long struggled to effectively oversee the industry. They don't do any check-ins. They don't do any, uh, well, you'll see when we get to it. Colorado has some of the weakest rules for their funeral homes in the nation with no routine inspections or qualification requirements for the funeral home operators. The operators of the Return to Nature funeral home didn't pay their taxes, got evicted from one of their properties, and got sued for unpaid bills by the cemetery that quit doing business with them almost a year ago, according to the police records and multiple interviews. None of the problems were appear to attract the attention of regulators who had, they haven't checked on any of them since November. But there started to be a horrible smell. And that's when the town of Penrose and the bodies were found. Stricter regulations might not have prevented this mishap, but they can ensure problems are discovered more quickly. So, you can catch it maybe at like six or eight bodies, you know, nothing too spectacular, but 115 Return to Nature, which offered cremation and green burials without embalming fluids. Oh, that's nasty. Mm. Oh, fucking thank you. That's just, yo. Imagine just the one smell of a dead body, but imagine that like times all of it. <clears throat> so, more than 120 families worried about their relatives could be among the remains. So they have contacted the law enforcement about it. Efforts to identify the remains began that week of, with the help of FBI teams that gets deployed to mass casualties events like airplane crashes and stuff. The smell of the scene was, hold on here, uh, horrific. Yeah. There's no indication state regulations visited the site or conducted owners John and Carrie Halford until more than 10 months after the Penrose Funeral Homes registration expired. State lawmakers last year gave regulations the authority, authority to inspect funeral homes without owner's consent, but no additional money was provided to increase inspections. A day after the foul order was reported, the director of the state office of the Federal Home and Crematory Registration spoke on the phone with John Hallford. He acknowledged that having a problem at the Penrose site and claimed he practiced taxidermy there too. Ew. The order was alleged Hoffer tried to conceal the improper storage of the corpses that documented in 2nd October 5th notice the Hallford to seize and dismiss operating the Penrose site are the only unknowns comparison sent by the state officials to return to nature. From the time it lost its registration to discovering the bodies, no arrests have been made in the case. 
Attempts to reach the helpers were unsuccessful. Numerous text message, homesteaking comment. Everything went unanswered. No one at the business picked up the phone and there was no working voicemail for them. <laughs> People will say that, you know, they had a good experience with Return to Nature. Um, she went back, this lady went back after 2018, but with her mother, they were great. She asked a funeral home to cremate the remains when Medicaid covered the cost. She went back with her husband, also on Medicaid, died in August. She was asked to pay a front and told she'd be reimbursed when the funeral home got paid by Medicaid. That was the first red flag. I was a housewife. There was no money there. She recalled her brother telling company, we're just going to wait for Medicaid. Return of Nature insisted asking for half of the payments before law enforcement raided the funeral home. The company sent her a 1.4K check. Her husband's ashes never arrived. She can't help but think of somebody's, her body is among those 115. Man, that's crazy. Can you imagine, like, you go to drop off your uh, dead body there? And so you're waiting and waiting, you know, is it stuck in the freezer? Is it pretty much, you know, what are they doing with it? You know? Oh, got my mind racing. Mm. Unlike nearly all the other states, Colorado Spinner homes aren't routinely expected. Those who run them don't have to graduate high school, pass an exam, or apprentice. Look, a perfect job for you. Getting. You're much more better. You got better potential. You do better. Go be a doctor or a lawyer. When you grow up, you could be anything. Hmm. Coffee time. My hair is doing this weird thing. Don't mind it. I'm just keep going up and up. I think I got too much hair. It's just so floof. Oh, the itchy nose. Mm. Pretty sure there's a superstition about that somewhere. Okay, State Senator Dylan Roberts co-sponsored the 2022 law after the bodies were mishandled in his district. Hold on. What do you mean? Mishandled. That could be multiple options. <laughs> okay. We're just going to scroll on by. Oftentimes, they're not just the resources or the manpower to be able to provide inspectors to go out and do regular inspections. A man who worked a, at Return to Nature with Halfist told the Associated Press he retired more than a year ago, unaware of any financial problems. At the time, everything was perfect. Return to Nature relocated to the Penrose from Colorado Springs more than a year ago, he said. The funeral home was later evicted from its Colorado Springs location in May for not paying rent, according to the court documents and landlord Mike Kinney with Kinney and Company. He said he is owed at least one hundred and twenty thousand mm. dollars. Return to Nature failed to pay more than $5,000 in 2022 property taxes on the Penrose location. <laughs> Sorry, one of my great friends, he's like, I just subscribed to you. Watch out. <laughs> okay. An attorney involved in the cases against funeral homes that had properly stored and sold bodies and body parts said he wasn't surprised when he heard about the bodies found in pin rooms. Rewind. <laughs> Or what? 
sold body and body parts. What are we selling of a dead body? They're no good. They're done. Ooh. Yes. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Yep, well, ladies and gentlemen, that looks like that is it. They're working on uh, getting the body back to the people and hmm. there we go. Stop sharing with y'all real quick. See if I can find something else on it, you know? As I can say, I woke up on the wrong side of the chestnut, the bone drive on the deck. Hit to the bone. Well, I think that's pretty much all I got for that, at least, because I don't think you want me to go searching for all the names or if they ever made it, you know? We'll find out eventually. Updates. So. Hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. Like it. Cool. Bye. Bye.